In the early days of Christianity, Jesus' church was a close-knit yet rapidly growing family. Disciples did much more than simply meet together. They shared life with one another, eating meals and encouraging one another on even a daily basis. As they worshiped God with righteous living, the focus of the early church was on sharing the love of Jesus with one another and the gospel message of sin and salvation with the lost. Church meetings appear to have been informal in nature, with all Christians treating one another as peers. Although there were leaders in the early church, we see no clergy-laity distinction, nor do we read of theater-style, preacher-audience arrangements in the first-century church assemblies. Unfortunately, not long after the death of the apostles, Christians began to develop increasingly formal traditions, many of which were heavily influenced by present-day Jewish customs, the Law of Moses, and worship at the temple. Sadly, it seems that the lessons taught by our Lord in His fierce confrontations with the Jewish religious leaders were overlooked by these generations. If we fast forward to today, many long-term effects of the centuries of continuously evolving man-made traditions are evident. Division is rampant. A recent internet search revealed an estimated 41,000 denominations worldwide. 41,000! In fact, denominations have become so commonplace today that many people think of Jesus' church as the collection of all denominations. What many consider Christianity today seems so incredibly foreign from what I read in the scripture. Whatever happened to the harmonious simplicity we read about in the book of Acts? In an effort to imitate the New Testament picture of the church here in our community, a small group of Christians in the Montgomery, Alabama area decided it was time for us to start over. So that's what we did. We've made a conscientious effort to wipe away past traditions and restore the simplicity and effectiveness of the early church. With an unwavering commitment to the scriptures, we meet in homes rather than expensive buildings. Our assemblies are informal, flexible, and interactive, with a focus on encouraging one another and providing what is needed for that moment. Because we have no paid staff or ongoing expenses, when a giving opportunity is identified, all funds collected go directly toward meeting that need. Like the early church, we frequently interact with one another outside of our assemblies, including fellowship meals and social events. We faithfully practice the Lord's commands to baptize new believers, and to remember his death through the observance of the Lord's Supper. Thus far, the results have been remarkable. Individuals who have attended our meetings have consistently remarked at the positive impact they felt. Longtime participants in our group have each experienced significant spiritual growth and a deeper intimacy with God. We give all glory and praise to him. We couldn't be more excited about what God is doing, and we desperately want to share what we have discovered with you. Please, come visit. Check us out. We assure you, you'll be welcomed warmly. For more information, check out our Facebook page, email us, or contact the person who shared this video with you. May God bless you, and thanks for watching.